Awkwardly positioned on the inside of Goodwood. Going around them, riveting last two links to Basics. They were followed by Breakdance as vague as the fence and one and a half to Valance. Twelve links covers the field as they come down the side and race to the 800 pole. Kahulawa in front and increasing the tempo. Led by a length and three quarters on Arcs the Waiter. Dashing seen outside Zanetta. And the two stable mates are locked together. One back past her express niggled at to go forward. She's academic smothered away on the fence from Burdick and Lad. Goodwood the centre and riveting last five out starting a run. Yippee Io has strung up. He's got nowhere to go as Breakdance and Basics improve. They were followed by as Vegas and Valance about ten deep as they turn the bend. In the straight in the Christmas Cup and Kahulawa the front runner. Us the way to the challenge and Pastor Express with all guns ablaze. He's coming at the lot of them. Zanetta's getting an inside run. She's academic switching around heels and Breakdance down the centre and Yippee Io's getting a gap. Pastor Express at the 150 in front of Zanetta. Yippee Io on the outside is starting to charge. It's Pastor Express in front of Zanetta and Yippee Io. Pastor Express in front, clinging on for dear life, and he'll win the cup. Pastor Express has won it. Second is Yippee Io, a nose in front of Zanetta. Then Breakdance, arcs the way to Goodwood as Vegas and Basics. Valance wide out, she's academic. Burdick and Lad, Kahulawa, riveting lass. Dashing seen last time in the Christmas Cup. Stand by for the numbers. Pastor Express, Grant Buckley giving a little wave of the whip. And boy, I'm so delighted for him. He deserves that. He's been riding so well. And this horse who came back after breaking down in the Summer Cup of last year, a fabulous training effort by Paul Cave. And Grant, when it comes to riding in a race of importance, he really can go up a gear. And he rode that horse an absolute treat today. Poised behind the, plate, the pace in about fifth or sixth position. Stormed up at the 300 metres mark. And then he's had to withstand the finishing burst of Yippie Io. Gallant under the big weight, held up at a crucial stage. His run was terrific under the 59. He's run second at $2.10. And number four, Zanetta, perfectly ridden by Di, but she just couldn't go on the last little bit. Nevertheless, running a very gallant third at $1.90. Pastor Express, 17 starts. He's won seven of those. A five-year-old chestnut gelding by Rigoletto out of Nassi Point. Of course, Stella Maria, half-sister to this good galloper. She a sprinter. This bloke is going to be a real force to be reckoned with in the summer months and of course no doubt we'll head towards the Summer Cup yet again, a race that he was narrowly beaten in uh, last time. Of course he ran a short head second to Dance Till Dawn who won at big odds and a perfect ride by Grant Buckley. He really deserved that as he comes back to scale on Pastor Express winning this year's Christmas Cup. Yes, a superb ride as Terry said. Moralism ready, they're set to go. Last of the eight event card, bathed in sunshine at Flemington, and away they go. Four survival out the back with Sofita early. And one of the first to appear, Catlana Dole with Cider in. Perfect arc was pushing through. Ruralism was up there in the early part, and so was Graceful Encounter. Just off the speed in about sixth position was Kerry Lass down on the inside as they sort themselves out. Getting back was Ankle Biter. Arch win, La Mukta. Full survival towards the tail end with Graceful Emma and Sofita. Going to the 1,000, Cider in, led by a length to Perfect Arc and Catlana Dole. Two to Angels, Jewel working up to fourth. Graceful Encounters over on the inside, fifth, and Ruralism was wider. Next Flame of Atlanta. They were followed by La Mukta as they run towards the turn. The well bunch. Kerry Lass is down on the inside. Arch win very wide, but is improving. Then came four survival. Back third last from Sofita and Graceful Emma, but they're well bunched and they're getting well away from the fence turning. Cider in in front of Catlana Dole. Perfect arc wider, graceful encounter, Angel's Jewel. Ruralism further out on the track. Ankle Biter trying to track through behind them with Flame of Atlanta. Down to the 300 metres, Cider in tackle now by Ruralism. La Mukta down the outside. La Mukta's going up on the outside of Ruralism. Four survival nearer the inside and Angel's Jewel getting through. It's La Mukta and Ruralism taking the lead together. La Mukta the outside, Ruralism and then Angel's Jewel. La Mukta, Ruralism won't come back. It will come back on the inside. Oh, it's close. La Mukta and uh, Ruralism. Good go here between the two, perhaps La Mukta, but Ruralism refused to yield. Third's close, Flame of Atlanta and Angel's Jewel down on the inside. They cleared away from Cider in. A uh, Force Survival didn't quite finish it off, but it was down towards the inside section. And then Graceful Encounter with Ankle Biter, Sofita, Kerry Lass, Graceful Emma, Arch Wind, Perfect Arc dropped out, so did Catlana Doll. Another photo. See, we've had a fair share of them today. Uh, La Mukta got probably a half a neck in front and Ruralism just wouldn't give in. Uh, and particularly near the post has dived, but I didn't think it made it. La Mukta's got it, number 11.
La Mukta wins the last. Just from four, Ruralism. And third, seven, Flame of Atlanta on the outside of Angel's Jewel, who's run probably ended about 50 out. So it was just the bob of the head pretty much, but Ruralism certainly came again. It was a good effort. And uh, those horses figuring the placings were just about the three widest runners in the home stretch. Numbers 11, 4, 7. La Mukta ridden by Neville Wilson. It's been racing very consistently, turning the tables at Angel's Jewel with the pull and weights today. Uh, Ruralism, another very good run. Peter Hayes, Nash Rewilla, and Flame of Atlanta, another minor placing, Michael Maroney and Karen McAvoy. Fourth in Angel's Jewel and fifth in number nine, uh, which wasn't a bad effort, Cider in after leading up. One open. The racing this time and Kai Mesa and City Hall bounced out speedily. Laurie's Lottery began fast and there goes Dash of Bay and City Fair. They're both going fast. Mr. Newmarket trying to go with them. Mr. Innocent positioning just behind them, followed by Forgotten Hero Real Say. Prince Hakim is wide early. Then Arimathea Major Victory Dana Jiva, Suitcase Arctic Venture and Malugwa is out to last. 800 left to go. And the top weight Laurie's Lottery leads half a length on City Fair balancing up second. A length back Dash of Bay third and three wide. Kai Mesa Seating fourth the inside. City Hall racing fifth and Mr. Innocent is sixth, but he's three wide. Then Forgotten Hero on the inside of Real Say, followed by Prince Hakeem and Mr. Newmarket. They're both deep. Then Aramathia well back in the field. Major victory, followed by Arctic Venture, Suitcase Malagwa, and Dana Jiva is last of all. Around the bend, 350 left to go. Laurie's Lottery headed for the run of the judge in front of City Fair and Dash of Bay. They're both trying to come after the leader, and then came City Hall. Mr. Innocent is starting to wind up on the outside. They got to Laurie's Lottery, City Fair went to the lead from Dash of Bay. Trying hard as Mr. Innocent Arimathea is late at Major Victory right along the inside. Seizing a rails run, he takes the lead. Major Victory. Major Victory has won from the stablemates. Dash of Bay and City of Fair. And Arimathea is just behind them. Then Kai Mesa, Laurie's Lottery, Forgotten Hero, Malagwa. Mr. Innocent didn't go on. And then Real Say Arctic Venture, Prince Hakeem, City Hall weakened out of it. Mr. Newmarket, Suitcase and last home, Dana Jiva. Three major victory, Glen Collis, 23.40, 6.50, 11 dash of bay at $5.90, four city fair, 3.30, correct weight to Woomba on the first, 2.1.11, long neck, a length and a half, 122.31. Now we're back after a, a bit of a break there on the super tab at uh, Dooman, three major victory, 22.50, 6.30, photo the miners, 11 dash of bay, 5.90, four city fair at 2.90, the double, 17 and 3, 309 dollars even. Apologies for that uh, break in transmission. Uh, nothing we could do about it, unfortunately. Let's uh, start on clearing some of the backlog of these totes. <laughs> Brisbane race number six, the winner was 17. He presses the button and there they go and that was a good start. King of Acapulco probably missed it only about a half length or so and Space Prince speeds to the early lead going out after him is Tina Starr and right up there in the early stages is Federal Agent by golly they're going quickly and further out on the track as they settle fully into stride is Bo Astor and a couple of lengths to light year followed by Stunt Man. A little over a length Old Man Sam and then comes Ra Eclipse King of Acapulco followed by Northern Glow and then Calamba Dynamited and Sober again to the side eight hundred to run and it's Space Prince the leader two lengths Federal Agent Tina Star third a length the Boasta one and a half further away on the field is Stump Man over on the inside and then comes Old Man Sam Lightyear King of Acapulco very wide from Calamba Northern Glow and then Ra Eclipse Dynamited is second last and Sober again is last of all Space Prince leads them a merry chase as they come around the corner and with just over 400 to run Space Prince opens up a gap of about three Tina Star Federal Agent followed by Lightyear King of Acapulco putting in his claim now he's never been on the track but the big chestnut is coming with big strides old man Sam is going with him at the 200 marker and old man Sam King of Acapulco got past Space Prince then Ra Eclipse weaving clear and sober again from nowhere old man Sam in front Ra Eclipse King of Acapulco the three of them hit it oh boy what a finish old man Sam with King of Acapulco and Ra Eclipse any one of three ways Sober again's not far away with Stuntman, Space Prince and Northern Glow. Boasta, Federal Agent, Lightyear, Tina Star. And the last couple were dynamited in Calamba. All right, photo all placings there. Now, Totes race five at the Gold Coast. Winner number five, Doodle Dandy. Eight even the win, two even the place. Four second, Toskelly, $1.10, two-third primary motive at 4.20. 
Quinella 920, Trifecta 187 even, all started on the 5th. In race 6, the winner was 1 Swift Knight, 5.20 the win, 2.20 the place, 4 second Mean Rhythm, $1.70, 5 third Shani Tartan, no third. Quinella 690, Trifecta $40.70, 6 and 8 scratched on the 6th at the Gold Coast, we're now up to date there. Now Adelaide, the last race, the update. One, Samato is 410-250. Two, Raja Jazz, 19 and 5. Three, Grand Senec, 11, 20, 4, 10. Four, Star Pro, 26 and 6. Five, Mahatma, 13, 75, 40. Six, Court Ruler, 14, 10, 5, 10. Seven, Keep Remembering, 13, even, 380. Eight, Privy Council, 23 and 5. Nine, Delima's Daughter, 20 and 6. Ten, King Mel, 34 and 10. 11, Mr. Tarsho, 86 and 21. 12, Red Astaire, 10, 93, 50. 13, Tricidity, 40 and 10. 14, Uptown Amber, 11, even, 280. 15, Verbosity, 12, 30, 380. 16, Well Stamped, 9, 52, 50, 17 and 18 out. It's the favourite, light.